All right, welcome back everybody. No review playthrough with Ryan and Danny. Doing some betrayal at House on the Hill today. So, we've got our four characters. We'll do two each until the haunt begins and then we'll take the traitor for the person and then give the other person the other character from there. So, let's see, we go by birth date. Lucky person birth date. Um, the professor is not going until July 27th, and Ox just passed October 18th. Go March 4th and December 10th. Alright, so that's first. Alright, I don't know why they selected birthdays, get to go first. Okay, <clears throat> this poor, either the professor <coughs> or the, what is it, the priest gets always dragged in with these kids. Yeah. Into these haunted houses. All right. Where are you going to go? I don't know. Um, yeah, I just straight out. Straight off there? Yeah. Okay. The creaky hallway. I'm going to go again. Like this yeah. way. <clears throat> to the game room. See what happens in the game room. Disquieting sounds. A baby's cry lost and abandoned. A scream. The crack of big breaking glass, then silence. <clears throat> Roll six dice. If you're equal to or more than the number of omens that have been revealed, you gain one sanity. If not, take one die mental. So if you have to roll all blanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to, if you roll... If you roll more than omens? Equal to or more, I gain a sanity. Oh, yeah, you'll do. Yeah, unless you roll all blanks, you'll gain a sanity. Wow, that was hard. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Professor likes to go off on his own. He doesn't trust any of you kids for dragging him into this house. He's too smart. I need ground floor. He's going to hang out on the patio, and we'll see what happens to him on the patio. It is meant to be... Oh, this doesn't sound familiar at all. It seems like we've read most of these cards, but this one doesn't... Hmm. Okay. Be quiet, Siri. I didn't ask you. Okay. Um, you collapse to the floor. Visions of future events pouring through your head. Hmm. Maybe so. Choose one of the two options. You can look at the top three tiles of cards of any stack. If you do arrange those three tiles in any order, do not tell them. That. Manipulating the tiles is stupid in this game, I think. Um, you can choose instead to roll four dice and write down the result. On a future die roll, you can use that instead. Okay, and if that number's higher than we need, okay. So I will think I'll take that. I don't care about finding tiles. Oh, great. <laughs> two. <laughs> All right. So basically, I can use two. Future die roll, you can choose that. You can use that number instead of rolling. Well, I'm going to put that on there just in case. Two. I guess it could be better than something, I guess. All right. Yeah, that was lame. Jenny. I think I'm going to have her uh, go upstairs. She's got four speed. One, two, four. Into the operating laboratory. And a vent. Get up. Yeah. <laughs> Laying down on the laboratory bed. Angry being, it emerges from the slime on the wall next to you. Just attempt to speed roll. Full speed. Did it say it appears from the slime on the wall? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Five. Uh, five plus you get away, gain one speed. Okay. Ox, he's not very bright. 
So I'm gonna follow the professor because he knows to follow smart people. So I'm gonna go one. Um, I guess we'll go, it doesn't matter, we'll go off the front. Oh, great. Well, he's supposed to small. <laughs> lands down there. So that was um, one, two, three, I guess. He's got one more. Uh, we need a basement tile. And the furnace room. Okay, if you end your turn here, take one point of physical damage. So let's see what the omen does. I got the dog. All right, I won't be going anywhere. So um, a point of physical damage, I'll take it from speed. My well, actually, token. This might. Oh, yeah, I'll grab my auto token. Oh gosh, it's so dark. There's my zombie ones. A wolf. Yeah, I have a werewolf wolf in here or something, yeah. My handmade ones. Oh. Where's all the zombie ones? Where's my wolf one? Okay. My isn't that good. No, it's not. They're pretty dark tokens, too. Oh, and that's right. I gain one might. And a sanity, because the dog calms me. Yep, that's it. All right, so the dog calms me down. Okay. Back to the start. Okay. Um, I'm going to go that way. To a dusty hallway. Ah, uh, she's found all the hallways. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go looking that way. Why do it this way just so that we have room to. Mm -hmm. To the organ room. It's not the loop. Yep. Secret passage. Um. We need the passage tokens. Passage. 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 I can't. Which one? Secret. Yeah. Secret well, three passing. dice, you place second. And then any existing upper room four. Okay, there's the second one. So I guess. That's lame. Yeah. That's not gonna be very helpful. All right, so it's in the organ room. It's the secret passage. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, professor. Well, since he's smart. He's not going to go sliding down the coal chute. He is going to, maybe, there we go. He's going to go to the abandoned room and get an omen. Oh, I didn't make a haunt roll. I hope I passed one. Oh, let's see, I'm supposed to do six. Okay, all right. Oh, great, I got the madman. Oh, but he gives me might, which I am weak. Okay, so he gave me... Oh, two might. Mm. Professor needs that. But I lose a sanity. <clears throat> he's a raving madman. F a raving, frothing madman. Um, lose them if I lose the omen. Okay. Okay. Just need more than two. All right. Okay. Well, Jenny, she's gonna go that way because that's. The only, only way to go. To the junk room. It says when exiting, you must attempt a might roll of three plus. And an omen. The ring. A battered ring with an incomprehensible inscription. Tap with sanity instead of might. You're about the same, aren't you? With either one, sanity and might? Uh, yeah. All right, three plus, okay. All right, ox. Um, 
furnace room. I guess it doesn't matter which side I'll go. Oh, uh, here's a basement one. All right, so we'll go to the catacombs with the dog. Um, you can attempt a sanity roll of six plus to cross. If you fail, stop moving. Okay, which is weird because I have to stop. Well, I have to stop anyways because the almond, I guess if I want to continue that way. All right, I got the spear. You roll a two additional odd dice when making a might attack. Cool, all right. I'm not gonna try and cross. Well, I couldn't because my turn ends anyways. Uh, two, four, six. Okay, we're good. Plenty. Plenty there. Okay. Uh, just Here. Go. Yeah. I'm just going to like three ways. I'm going two. Go four and gardens. All right. That's interesting layout. Yep. Creepy craw crawlies. Thousand bugs spill out on your skin, on your clothes, and in your hair. Let's attempt a sanity roll. Oh, yeah, we all have pretty high stats here. I got lots of fours and fives. Yeah, each of them have a three. Yeah. Uh, four. Lose one sanity. Okay, make sure it says one, or does it say one lose, die? Lose one. Okay. All right. We're starting over, right? Yeah. Okay, Professor. Um, we'll go this way just to keep the map sprawled out. Okay, dead end in the chapel. Uh, if you end your turn here, gain a sanity. So we'll just wait and see, just to make sure. Um, with an event, sometimes you do move. What the? You look back the way you came, you see nothing. Just empty fog and mist where the room used to be. Pick up the tile on the room you are in, after setting it else aside. Put it somewhere else on the same floor of the house, attached to a different unexplored doorway. And put everything back you set aside. Probably if there was passage tokens or something on it. Yeah. If there isn't an unexplored door on this floor, move it to a different room. So we basically have to connect it to, yeah. Go ahead and connect it. I guess it's gonna go here, yeah. Okay. All right. Woo. Okay, I end my turn there, and so I'll take a sanity. Okay, all right. All right, Jenny. Okay, you have to junk room it. Um, I think it's the three plus. Yeah, three yeah. plus. If you fail, you lose one speed, but you can move. So three plus. Might. Uh, might. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You gotta see if you can fight your way through the crap. Punching the furniture? Yeah, punching furniture. All right. All right. Nothing happens. All right. There's an upper floor. Servant's quarters. With no one. Well, we're getting up there. All we're drawing is almonds. Yeah. Um, got so the girl. Rescued the girl. Okay. Gain one sanity and knowledge. Yeah. And can be drop traded or stolen. All right, we're looking at five. We're getting there. Seven. seven. Okay. All right. Ox. Uh, I don't see why I need to go that way. Sanity of six plus. So I only roll four dice. So I'm probably. I guess I could try. Oh, if I fail, I stop moving. So. All right. So I'm too scared to move. So I'm not even gonna try. All right. So we will go one. Yeah. Two there. All right, the larder. Wow, we hardly ever get this one. Yeah. Okay, that's an item. He actually gets an item. All right, so he has, oh, the dynamite. Nice. Yeah. Yep, dynamite's good in any game. Mm -hmm. Okay, Um. once per game, if you end your turn here, gain a might. Nice. Ox is strong. It's a six. 
and a dynamite. Probably shouldn't give an idiot dynamite. No. Yeah. Well, at least it throws in the out of the room and not in doesn't drop it on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. There, there should be, and that'd be cool. Have an option because it says you have to roll five plus. Take no damage from dynamite. That's stupid. Oh, if they're in that room. Right. If if I throw in a room with you, so there yeah. should be there should be an option like the zero like zero like drop it on the floor <laughs> drop it on the floor and blow yourself up and die. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is your second. Yep. That was ox. So we're back to the start, and that was an item, so I don't have to do a roll. Yeah. Okay. Hard room, another omen. Okay. I'm gonna go through our entire deck. Yeah. Medallion, immune to the effects of the pentagram chamber, crypt, and graveyard. Six. All right, we need six. Six plus, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, eight. Okay. All right, professor. Um, speed of four, I have to go at least here to here, I guess. Um, there's a ground floor there. Uh, the Mystic Elevator, once per turn, roll dice and move this room to any room. Now, I was watching somebody this weekend play. They actually didn't do this. I guess you don't, it doesn't say, I, it says once per turn. It doesn't say you may roll, but it also doesn't say you must roll. Yeah. So they just hopped out, back out. They just went in and hopped back out, so. I guess. Yeah, we've always played it that you automatically do it. Doesn't really matter, right? No. I'll just leave it. Mm -hmm. So, but that goes one, two, three. And yeah, well, it's gonna eat up all my stuff anyways, who cares? Let's, let's see where I can go. So you roll two, Professor's Daring. Mm -hmm. uh, the number two, anything on the ground floor, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's no options, like, over there. Alright. There. Mm. Well, hello there. <laughs> da -da. Is that a mystic elevator? Why, oh, yes. Yeah. Alright. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, I guess, I guess I have one. One, two, three, four. Minus, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, then... You know, uh, draw. Technically, wasn't that your? Or I guess. I, yeah, as long as you, you haven't drawn a card. I didn't draw a card. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now, now I fall through the floor. Collapsed room, maybe. Um, five plus to avoid falling. Four dice, and I've got a pretty good shot. Of him. He is old, so he may not be able to nimble, nimbly jump across. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm oh, good. You did. All right. To avoid falling. Okay. So I'll just. Uh, just like. Do I have all of mine? I'm on the edge of the platform. Oh, yeah. I, I stepped to the door, saw the, the saw the, oh, I stepped to the door, saw the falling, yeah. the hole, and decided not to. Um, was that, so it probably was all of mine, right? I think one, two, no, I don't, one, two, three, I guess, yeah, let's do one more. I nimbly jump across the boards. Kitchen. to the kitchen, which is a dead end grate. So now I'm gonna have to cross back through. All right, but there's an omen here. Uh, bite, a growl, the scent of death, pain, darkness, gone. When you draw this card, something bites you. The player on your right, go ahead. Do a might attack of four against you. Doesn't matter. Huh? Doesn't you're matter. just rolling four. So you're not a specific, oh. you're just rolling four. Mm. E. Five. No, I don't wanna roll two. <laughs> what, two, yeah. five. Oh, dang One. it. Oh, man. Crap. So I just took four hits of damage. Nice. Dang. Well, you can't die yet. No. But you go all the way down to the lowest one. One. Oops. One, two. Back to start there, so that's not horrible. Three, four. All right, I'm really slow now. Okay, yeah. Woo! Yeah, no. Oh, no. Two speed. Mm. All right, haunt roll. I need this many. Um, what are we at? 
Now we're at six. Hmm? We're at six. One, two, three, four, you have... Five, oh, no, we're at seven. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. That's it. Oops. The dog. Okay, grab me the traitor one. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, so that was the kitchen with the bite. I, it seems fun. Uh, I don't know. I'm probably turned into something, I'm sure. Yeah. Being bitten. Okay, um, so the kitchen. There's the bite. <clears throat> the kitchen is number 18. The haunt revealer, yeah, so that's me. And the haunt is the 18. One time I'm not revealing. United we stand. 